Hi there, welcome to end-to-end -end solution architect session. My name is Som and today I will be talking about integrating Sonar Cloud with Git Action. So basically we will integrate uh, by creating a pipeline in Git Action which will perform the code scanning with Sonar Cloud. Now here in this tutorial, I will be using the Terraform code scanning. So all about the project is you have a Terraform code and you have to do the static code analysis. You will be using Sonar Cloud and you are already using your Git action for pipeline. Okay, so I have my code in the Git repository and it is a public repository. I will share the link. You can check the code and the pipeline. I will show every step. Now, if you read this documentation, you will find that every steps are written over here that for the code scan with Sonar Cloud. Secondly, uh, the Sonar Cloud scan where you have to browse to check where you have to create the tokens. Everything we have is have in this documentation. OK, now let's start from here. So the first thing is that you need to have a Git repository. It can be public or private. You can use both the private or public repository. But if you are integrating your Git with Sonar Cloud, then you need the public unless you have the Git enterprise version, which can connect your private repository also with Sonar Cloud. OK, so as in my case, it is not a great enterprise version. So I am using um, normal Git and I am using the public repository. OK, so I have checked in my code. It is a very simple Terraform code, which basically does. Let's open this main.tf file and let me show you. It is simply creating one S3 bucket. OK, nothing else uh, because our purpose is to integrate with uh, Sonar Cloud and run some test in Terraform so we can perform the static code analysis. OK, so let's come to this pipeline part. Now, uh, here is a pipeline which is under dot github slash workflows. OK, now this is a specific directory structure you need when you want to run pipeline in GitHub action. OK, so let me open this. Here I have a pipeline.yml. You can give any name to this. That doesn't matter. It will look for only this particular directory structure and one YML file. OK, I'm opening this YML. It is uh, the purpose of this uh, YML file is the Sonar Cloud integration with Git Action Pipeline. OK, and when this Git Action Pipeline starts, here you can mention that for which branch when it should trigger. Okay. Now <clears throat> inside job we have a demo sonar cloud scan. We are using the Ubuntu latest that is the runs on. Okay. The steps are like you have to check out the code first. Okay. The pipeline when it starts running, it will check out the code first. So in our case, the code is Terraform code, so it will check out the code. Now depth zero is <coughs> you are mentioning that which part of your particular repository it will uh, consider in scanning. In depth zero means it will consider everything in that repository means from the root level. Okay. Now it is the sonar scan part where we are mentioning that the sonar cloud github action. Okay. And we are setting up two environment variable. One is GitHub action, another is, sorry, one is GitHub token, another is Sonar token. Okay. And we are, we need to add two arguments over here where it is the Sonar organization and Sonar project key. Okay. Now let me tell you over here, this Sonar organization is the organization of your GitHub. In my case, the organization name is E2E Solution Architect. Okay. This is not a repository name. It is organization name. Okay. 
and sonar project key is the repository name basically as you see in my case it is sonar cloud git action terraform hyphen scan so it is the repository name i have okay so your project key is basically the repository name why it is the repository name now you can definitely change or configure it and uh, it is actually how your project in sonar cloud what is showing in your repository name that matters i will come to this sonar cloud just in a minute but let me show you over here and complete this understanding that how the pipeline is formed okay and we have two things to create one is github token another is sonar token okay let me go to the documentation once again so i can uh, relate that where it is documented and you can also follow this thing so first i have explained that what how the pipeline yml is formed now our first thing is we have to create two access token one is git pact or git personal access token another is sonar token so let's go to the git pact uh, creation and here you see that i have provided the uh, navigation step where is is the you see that right hand um corner user icon settings then developer settings then personal access token then create the token okay so simply on your right hand side you see your user icon click over that go to settings now it is on settings page now developers settings left hand left hand side if you scroll down at the bottom you will find developer settings and here is a page you see that uh, we have the option or menu for the personal access token or it is called pat pack okay just click over there you will find two options over here one is the classic one another is fine grained token it is in beta version so we are going to this token classic now you see that i have already one token created okay and ba to create a new token you can create multiple token that doesn't matter and just to create a new token click on the generate new token and as you have selected uh, the token classic just click on generate new token classic it will ask for your authentication basically and then it will ask for a name of the token and it, you click on the generate button it will generate the token name at this point i am not going to create another one but it is just a step that where you give a name of the token click on generate button and it generates a token it is a big string so keep in mind that copy that token properly and keep it in a notepad okay so i assume that you have copied that uh, generated that token and uh, copied that token in a notepad now our git token or git pack basically personal access token we have created it now the next part is let me go back to our documentation okay we are on the documentation and we see that we have completed this part we have the screenshot over here that in the personal access token you create the access token and the access token will show like this it will not show the actual token so if you uh have lost the token then it is just simply you delete this token and recreate another token okay now uh, this is the part we have to create the sonar token okay now to go for the sonar token let's understand that how we can sign up for the sonar cloud uh, uh, for our uh, personal pocs or you are giving a try to use the sonar cloud to learn sonar cloud basically okay so what you can do that you can go for sonar source.com so it is simply sonar source.com okay and <clears throat> just click on start for free you will find this option where uh, you um, try sonar cloud sonar cloud is basically the saas solution or web based solution so that's why try sonar for free now you have several options uh whatever the way you want to sign up for the sonar cloud in my case i am integrating sonar cloud with uh, 
GitHub. So I am just clicking on GitHub and uh, signing up through GitHub. Well, the Sonar Cloud, this is the project, my project uh, page for Sonar Cloud, which basically shows, let me maximize this page. Yes, it is good now. Well, you see this, the project, there is one project already there. The reason is just uh, two days ago, I tested the one sample project by integrating with Sonar Cloud. That's why it is showing. Now, what happens that when you want to set up a scan for your new repository or new project, you do not need to create the project here. So once your scan starts, here it will create the project because you have already integrated with Sonar Cloud with GitHub. Now we have created the GitHub token. Let's create the Sonar Cloud token. To create the Sonar Cloud token, as the steps are mentioned over here, uh, let me take you over here that click on the top right uh, sign again, the user icon, my account security tab and generate the token. So let's go the user icon, select my account, go to the security. Okay. And uh, just put a name over here, the your token name and click on generate. Okay. Now, the thing is that as you see over here, just you have to add the token name in Git. Just a minute ago, when you created the token in GitHub, it was the same that it asked for the token name and you clicked on generate token. Okay. So we have the token already generated. That's why I'm not generating one more token. Okay. But always keep in mind that once you generate the token, just keep that token in a notepad. So you can now create the environment variable in GitHub. Let me take you to that repository. Now we have to create, set this environment variable. We have two tokens and you see that this is our secrets. <coughs> we have to set it. So one is our Git token, another is our Sonar token. Now in that repository, okay, in that repository, you will go to the settings page. Under settings, you will find secrets and variable under security. Click on actions because it is GitHub actions. And we need this secrets to set for GitHub actions. And if you scroll down, you will find repository secrets. Okay, I have these two tokens already set. Now how you can set? You will simply click on new repository secret. It will open up this page, we will ask for the name and you will give any name. Suppose uh, in our case, I have said that git secret or sorry, git token and the secret actually the big string which you have copied already in a notepad, you will paste it over here and will add the secret. Since I have already added the secret, I am not adding it twice, but this is the way you add your secret over here. And the same way you will add the um, Sonar token with the token you have created in Sonar Cloud. Okay. So we consider that we have these two tokens set and in our pipeline, we also using these two tokens like this. So GitHub underscore token and Sonar underscore token, which is basically taking the values from this environment variable which is like your dollar double curly brace and secrets dot the variable name which you added in your secrets okay now this is all about how to configure and now we will initiate the test so how we can initiate the test it is simply that we I have not said this pipeline that which will trigger automatically when I push the code. So to check the pipeline first, when you are into this repository, you go to this action option. Under action option, it will show you the pipeline name. Here in our case, the pipeline name is Sonar Cloud integration with Git action pipeline. So I'm just clicking over this and you see that I actually executed the pipeline two times. Now here is the option that you can manually 
run that pipeline. When you click on run workflow, you get that which branch you want to run this workflow or the pipeline on. In my case, it is the one branch only, so main, and I am clicking on run workflow. Okay, so it is initiating the workflow. So basically, initiating the sonar scan. Now, just in a minute, it will show over here. It is still loading the page. You see that the scan has initiated. Okay, it is showing that the rudder icon over here. And okay, it's showing that one minute ago it has completed. Let's open the scan. So here you will find that how was the task for the pipeline. And I clicked over the task. And these are the steps it actually completed. Okay, so here you see that this is the sonar cloud scan part. You will get all these logs over here. If you find any error, then you will see it over here. Otherwise, you see that analysis successful, you can find the result in this URL. So from here, you can click the URL, which is basically taking you to your uh, sonar cloud project. If you are running it first time for your um, new repository, so it will create this project in sonar cloud side. And when you are opening this URL, it will take you over there. So here in this case, you see that uh, uh, it has opened uh, the project in Sonar Cloud and it's showing there was no findings. Okay, two findings is security hotspot. In security hotspot, it found two findings. And let's see. Okay, you see that we simply created one S3 bucket, but it found some security issues. Okay, and it is saying that security risk is no public action block configuration prevents public ACL policies to be set on this S3 bucket. So it is a great technique for the static code analysis, which scans your Terraform code and tells you that what is missing. Okay, so uh, based on that, you can correct your Terraform code and just push the code again. So the code will be much secure. Okay, so this is all about that how the pipeline triggered, how you created the token, configured the pipeline, initiated the pipeline, it scanned your Terraform code and created the project in your Sonar Cloud. And you see in your Sonar Cloud, how is the summary, what are the actions you have to take for your code fix. Okay. Hope you have got this overall idea and you can try it yourself. Now, if you have any question, please feel free to write in the comment box below. I'll be happy to help you. If you are interested in any kind of IT training, mostly cloud-based training for AWS as your GCP, then you can check the Academy repository in our E2E Solution Architect. If you are interested about any bootcamp or masterclass on AWS, Azure or GCP and Terraform, you can contact us and register for these events. We have online or in-person training sessions, bootcamps, workshops and masterclass. Masterclasses are around three months program for role-based and certification guidance program. Feel free to connect with us. We'll be happy to help you. Thank you for your time. See you in our next session.